Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another gear raffle and review. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple products that Genius Earth has been so kind to send us. Let's get right into it. Oh, look, coffee. Yummy. <clears throat> Before we get too far into the review, if you guys are new to the gear raffle and review, head on over to my Patreon page, there'll be a link in the description, and for as little as $1 a month, you can get one entry in every single gear raffle that I do. Woo! All right, a couple products here from Genius Earth. This is a company that's uh, selling their stuff on Amazon. Oftentimes I do get requests from these smaller companies on Amazon to, to do reviews. Sometimes they come in and I just kind of shrug them off because they look like really low quality and I hesitate to grab them but uh, this one I did do because they've got a a blow up pillow and I've never used a blow up pillow on the trail I always use my clothes bag and I probably still won't use a blow up pillow but I wanted to see what they were all about so I thought hey what the heck I'll do the review and then I'll raffle it off to you guys all right we'll save the pillow for last and getting the scale getting the scale so 6.5 ounces get you guys this blanket uh, comes with a little carrying bag that's that's soft and lightweight. The stitching looks all right. I can't imagine that this material is like unpenetrable, but uh, it does look like it's not made too inexpensively. It does have a little carabiner on here, and I noticed on their website that they advertise it as and with a must-have carabiner. <laughs> I wouldn't use the carabiner. Uh, it's of very inexpensive quality and it is weight that I definitely would not carry. In fact, if I was to use this piece of gear in my hiking kit, which they do uh, advertise this for hiking, and I'm gonna do the review based off of a hiker's perspective and not based off of the casual beach goer. I think they even advertise it as like going to a, a ball game or something and use it as a, a lightweight wind resistant blanket or a picnic and stuff. I'm not gonna do it that way. This is gonna be a hiker's perspective on this piece of gear. Uh, so for me as a hiker, this little bag, I wouldn't use it. Uh, it comes with four plastic. Ooh. I'm tempted to just bend one of these to see if it breaks on camera. Uh, not bad. Okay. I think that these would actually bend before they broke. They came off as soon as I pulled them out of the package. It's like if I bend it a little too much, it would just snap. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that. The stakes themselves come in at one ounce. And if you're a hiker or a camper, that's an ounce you don't need. You already have stakes. The material that the, this is made out of is the same material that the bag is made out of. And they say that it is not waterproof, but it is water resistant and that it is uh, a kind of like a rip proof material. Now, I did stress this a little bit. I put it out there. I rubbed it around on the floor. I went outside and stuff with it. And it does seem to kind of hold up the way they say. Uh, on the edges here, there's these little elastic things. That's where you put your stakes in. That's going to be your downfall to this. I can already see the little strands of the stitching and stuff that are coming out. That should be reinforced a little bit better. This is going to pull out of there eventually. And only about that much, maybe a half inch of these cords is sticking into this. That is going to fail eventually. My guess. This one here, the, the threads are even starting to pull out a bit. So there's a little bit of your low quality. I mean, this is a $15 item. It does have a couple nice features. In the corners here, there's a uh, little stitched in pocket. That way, if you don't want to use the stakes and you just want to gather nearby rocks and push them out into the sides, that'll hold this down as well. Dang it, I unfolded it and now I want to do the weight. Boop, 5.1 ounces. You know, it, it's lightweight. If it had some good uses, you know, I would probably carry it. The downside to this, and the reason why I probably would not carry this in my hiking pad, is uh, water resistant is great, but I want waterproof because the thing that this would be used for is a uh, underneath my tent. This would be my ground cover. And being that it's not waterproof and it's just water resistant, the water is going to soak up through there and this isn't really going to be useful. So for you guys over at Genius Earth, uh, do a coating on this to make it waterproof. Even if that coating wears off and I have to reapply it, and I guess I could do that myself, but I think you're gonna be uh, farther ahead offering something that is waterproof. Um, and a lot of the ones that I'm looking at on Amazon are not, so you may be able to uh, uh, set yourself apart a little bit having it be waterproof. The other part, and this is the main downside to this blanket for me, is it's the wrong size, it's the wrong shape. 
Where's the size of this thing? It is 60 inches by 55 inches. So basically it is a square and it's a too small a square. It, uh, for anybody that's over 60 inches tall, you can't fit on it. Your feet hang off the end. There's a picture of their advertising on, on the Amazon with feet hanging off of it because you cannot sit completely on this, this mat. Uh, and most of them that I've found are all shaped funny. They're shaped more of like this little thing that you want to curl up sideways with your legs in and sit on the beach, which is fine and dandy. But if you want to advertise this to hikers, go ahead and make it the proper shape. Make it 72 inches is going to fit. Is it 72? Better do my math right. Mm -hmm. Carry the five. 72 inches is going to fit a six foot tall person, allowing them to have their head and their feet on top of this, which will also allow them to use it as uh, the underside, if it was waterproof, for their tent. Someone may carry this for that reason because some tents don't come with the ground cover. So they would buy this as an inexpensive alternative to that, but it would need to be the correct shape. So for me, as cool as this is, this is not going with me camping ever, uh, but potentially it would be all right for a picnic or something like that. But as for camping, not going to use it. For the $15, I think it is a quality enough product to buy if you want to use it for any of the other reasons that it could be used for. But for camping or hiking, nada. Next up, we have the uh, the pillow, which, I've, like I said, I was really curious about at the beginning. Um, I did get a chance to blow it up, and Asher really liked it. I jump on it. You jump on it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Do you like the pillow? But for me, like I said before, a uh, stuff sack, you know, I may get rid of the carabiner. It's again, one of those little inexpensive carabiners. I may get rid of that uh, and keep the stuff sack just because of where I would put this maybe in the brain of my pack or something just to keep it separate and to keep it from folding. But for now, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, right on. I like it. My first thought when I was looking this thing over is I noticed that all of the seams are glued and not stitched. Now, you're not going to really put a whole lot of stress on this, but why not have the extra support of, of stitching in the seams as well? Maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. And the glued seam is pretty small, though it does seem strong. And I'm, I'm not going to say that it's going to be weak and fall apart but I was just wondering why they would have done that. The spout, on the other hand, does look like it's it's uh, secured really well. It's made out of some nice flexible plastic. I can kind of pull and twist on it, and I'm not worried about that breaking off. And it does have a valve in there, which allows you to uh, fill this up and not have it spit back in your face, which is just super, super great. There's this little valve right here. So if I blow in this, <sighs> There, look at that. One quick breath. If I blow in that, it doesn't want to come back out after I blow, blew in it, which is really, really nice. And to release it, you just pop it open the other way and it releases very quickly. I think you guys hit the nail on the head when it comes to that valve. It's put together really nice. I like it. I've laid on this pillow. It's super comfortable. I wish I would have carried one of these on the trail because I think that I you wouldn't be fighting the uh, the bag that I had full of extra clothes like falling off of the back of my pad and stuff like that, which I did a lot. And you could lay on it one way or the other. I mean, it's got different options. Uh, it's, a, it's a comfortable material, but it's not slippery. So it's going to help from sliding around on top of your sleeping pad and stuff, which is just a, a great thing. Um, and I do believe that you could potentially tuck this back inside of your sleeping bag itself. You wouldn't be able to blow it up as much, but you also wouldn't need to. And that would allow you to have this right inside your mummy bag and uh, then it wouldn't slip around at all because you can blow it up and you can adjust how full it is, which I think is freaking awesome. And the weight with the air in it, 2.9 ounces. That's, that's great. For three ounces, this is something that if I would have thought about this before going on a through hike, I would carry one of these. After removing all of my hot air that's you know making it more buoyant, 2.9 ounces. <laughs> Imagine that. But guys, I really think that it is worth the wait. If I had to do it over again, I would take one of these along with me on the trail. I don't know if there's companies out there that have better options, but for $9.99 or $10 or whatever, I would 
suggest buying one of these. I think it's going to make your night's sleep that much more comfortable in your tent. It's a good product. It seems to be pretty well made. And yeah, I like it. So that's my review of the two products from Genius Earth. Uh, the blanket, not so much. The pillow, sure, go ahead, 10 bucks. I recommend that. I wouldn't get the blanket. That's just me, personal opinion. So now on to the raffle. For the winner of this raffle, you get your choice between red or blue. So make sure you uh, give me the comment and say, hey, Nate, I want a red one, or hey, Nate, I want the blue one. And the winner of the raffle is, drum roll, please. Ron Mueller. Ron Mueller, you just won yourself a nifty little pillow in a blanket that you probably won't use, but hey, you get it anyways. Congratulations. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. There's my quick little review of Genius Earth's blanket and its pillow. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this window and this window? Who's talking about a window? Do I mean that window? I'm an idiot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it's been helpful. But remember guys, these reviews are just my opinion and if you don't like it, you can go take a hike. Take your pillow with you. Bye bye. Oh yeah. I like it, I dig it, I want more of it.